souls that live beyond the veil of darkness where nightmares are born. Sanity knows no bounds and then thrives on the suffering of the dead. Rots in the solace in the souls of the weak. We have taken refuge here among the mortals in hope of harvest for my innocence. Tread lightly in the search for the voices and stories of the departed. For in shadow hides the evil that lurks within. As the light dies and slowly becomes night, the realm of spirits rule the world. In the darkness of your mind hides your own hidden demons and brings to life your deepest fear. Do you have what it takes to speak to the dead? Do you accept your own mortality in the search for life after life? Have you ever Spirit or demon, have the lights flickered, and the moon became as cold as death itself. Maybe you have. Maybe it was your own subconscious preparing you for death. Come spend some of what's left of your own existence in our search for the answers that are hidden. Behind the veil, shed off the blinders and open your mind's eye and listen to their stories. We are they. We are incarnate paranormal. And what is up, everybody? How y'all doing tonight? Hope today finds you all well. Hope today finds you all Happy, healthy, and a little mentally disturbed. Oh, you wouldn't be meant if you weren't mentally disturbed, you wouldn't be here, would you? <laughs> Had to throw that out there. I gotta start off tonight, like I did last night. That's kind of Budweiser. Ah, that's good. We ended the show last night on a uh, major high note. We had five EVPs in a matter of a few seconds. Uh, I've I've sent it to a few people and they can't figure it out. They even said, Brent, that's not you. That is definitely, definitely not you. Uh, still trying to decide if I want to... Uh, Bring this up, play it again tonight, which I think I want to. I think we're going to start off the show tonight reanalyzing this. So let's do that. Let's switch back over to this. I just, I, because I want to. And what I say goes tonight, uh, well, every night, but for the simple fact of what this EVP was, there's so much in there that's over my voice, that speaks over me. One that doesn't sound like English. And uh, the other that said, I don't know what to say. We spent the last 20 minutes of the stream trying to figure it out. And we couldn't. And I'm going to dwell on this one. Why? I actually think I need to. I think I need to dwell on this one because just in such a short frame, we've never had it to where we couldn't figure out at least a portion of it. Out of five, we figured out one. Five EVPs, we figured out one. So what we're going to do is we're going to give me a second here at the Tuwaka. Touch more, just a touch. 
Why? Just because I feel like being a dumbass. Let that chill for a couple of minutes. And that'll be the my drink for the night, minus the beer, or plus the beer. Uh, I went ahead and loaded it up. I've also got the rest of the audio loaded too. We're going to spend five or ten minutes trying to get to the bottom of this. I think we're going to need to slow it all down and pray for the best. I clipped it out. I posted it to Instagram, to Twitter, uh, to the Incarnate Paranormal Facebook page. Uh, waiting for responses. I just got a bunch of likes. No comments, which surprises me. It literally surprises me. So with that being said, guys, I uh, hope you got your listening caps on. Get the earwax out of your ears and uh, let's get started on this. Like I said, this is from the last EVP from last night. There's five in here. So let's see if we can iron them out. See, this is me. I'd appreciate it. This is me. This is not me. Okay, when I was a kid, sit back. So there's two voices in there. When I was a kid and sit back. So I get cut off. You can see right here in the energy shift. This is me. That's not me. Either one. So with me talking, uh, didn't get completely over me, but I was a kid, so I'm thinking it was trying to say when I was a kid, then another spirit cuts him off and says, sit back. repent uh, I 
So we did count all five last night. So we just got to... So we figured out four of the five. Uh, the first one is not English. So it's followed by the not unknown one. Uh, I will repent. Excuse me. <clears throat> I will repent when I was a kid, sit back and I have, I don't, then a little bit of garble, then to say. So we got five EVPs in a matter of... Uh, Jesus, three seconds, four seconds. So that's four to seven point three, three point five, three points, three point seven seconds. We have five EVPs. That's unheard of. So I'm just gonna play it through a few more times, then we're gonna get out of this and get back to the normal EVPs. <laughs> And what, like I said, what's going to get us on this one is if the Zoom H3 VR picks this up is when we analyze that toward the end of the evidence. We're going to have to make notes on this and save the clips. Or I've actually already got the clip saved. We're just going to have to match it up when we get to it. This, <clears throat> dang, I like that scratch in the throat tonight. This is just <clears throat> not good. But uh, if it matches up and matches up, I know I have another recorder in there somewhere. If this all matches up, it's going to be phenomenal. I've already sent the clip off to Susan. I'm waiting for her to hear it. This is good. I'm happy. So what we're going to do here is exit this. And we're going to... Close selected files. Okay. So... Hold on a second. We were at what two o three twenty five. So that's going to be about right, right in there, right where it's at. All right, let's get started on tonight's hoopla, shall we? Crazy guys, that is flat out flipping crazy. Mr. Cole. That is, I know this is the wind, but just to have the wind howl through the uh, 
Last night's sales and execution area, right as I said that, makes it extra creepy. Susan said that they photographed in that chamber. Is that a no? Or wandering about this prison. In these rooms. Do you share time? In these rooms. Or wandering about this prison. Do you share time? In these rooms, or wandering about this prison. Oh, yep, that's a no. Share time. That's a no. So two oh four three seven two Do you share time in these rooms? Two oh four four seven. Sweet. So let me put you on uh, mute real quick while I type this up. Okay, so I realized after last at the end of last night's show, we hit EVP number 100 for Nevada State Prison Part 2. Uh, this takes us to 101, of course. Uh, we've got, let's see, 436 EVPs. We've got another, 330, another 336 to go to beat the first investigation. And we're only on the second recorder. We got this. We so got this now. <laughs> We're on a roll after that five and one last night. Ooh, yeah. I'm happy about this. And you know what? Cheers, you guys. This deserves a sip. Mm. Yeah, boy. Or What? Come over here. Or come over here or I'm over here. We're going to expand that. We're going to, let's go into vocals. Go into low tone. Let's go into high tone. And no, no, we're not talking about La Bamba there. And we're going to amplify this five. Then we're 
Let's not do that. Okay, then let's go in and do our reverb. And there we go. There's our EVP. I'm over here. So, on the mute. All right, and we didn't put the first one up, and we didn't put the second one up. So now we're caught up on EVPs. We're at 1827. I'd like to get to about 1850 tonight if we can. That'd be, that'd be pretty freaking cool. getting talked over again. And we can't figure it out because it's talking under me. Damn it. Oh shit, Deads is here. How the hell are you, buddy? Mr. Cole, I did watch a video of you not long before, before you were going out in the other room about your heels. Were you tired of fighting?
your keyboard. Let me guess. Writing the book. Sorry, I was muted. I'm going to hit pause, not mute. Uh, after, I'm going to give it a couple minutes. And I'm going to bring up the EVP from last night. We closed the show with it. And there's five within 3.7 seconds. The fifth one. Not English. I can't figure it out. Hopefully you can Actually, what I'm going to do real quick, let's do this right. Uh, where are we at here? Let's bring this down again. Okay. Okay. Here it is. Let's see if we can five different. There's five different voices on this EVP. Mind you, for one, I am the only person in this building, not just on the cell block, not just in death row, not just in execution. I am the only person in the building. The closest person to me is probably 300 yards away. Outside the outside this building in a different building. So this one is this one is freaking strange. I'm gonna let it play through a couple times and let you get a gist of it. Then we're gonna slow it down and analyze it. And if we have to spend all show on this one, I'm good with this. First one, I will repent. This is the one I can't figure out. It's not English. It sounds like me, but it doesn't have the pattern of my voice. You can see up here, right at the first part of this, that's my speech pattern. This is not. The other, f the five different sections is are not my patterns. But this one, it, it's almost, it sounds like Native American to me. And this is where I wish Kabug was kind in here on this one. I was a kid and sit back. 
So you got two spirits right there talking almost over each other. I, when I when I was I'm thinking saying when I was a kid and sit back. So I might have been leaning forward and a spirit is literally sell, telling me to sit back. What's crazy is we did not catch this on the GoPro. This is remember when those lights went off on the GoPro or on the Eddie meter when I had the GoPro on? This is this is from the recorder that was in the other room. This is this recorder is in the room where they administered the the uh, the lethal drugs for the execution. This is literally picking up EVPs either coming from the death chamber or from inside the cells. We're going to have to find out when we get to the Zoom H3 VR. So you got you got two EVPs back to back right here. I'm not as a kid, I'm And the last one. So, you see, there's five EVPs in 3.7 seconds. We've never got this before. We never got this on the first, the first investigation of Nevada State Prison. And for as long as I've been investigating, I've never got five EVPs that fast. We've got it in three or four minutes before, but never in three seconds. That is freaking crazy so you can see last night when i was getting ready to close the show and all of a sudden we get hit with this and i spent an additional 20 minutes trying to analyze it with everybody it was freaking nuts now you can see why <laughs> i'm glad i have another set of ears in here now that one kind of freaked me out a bit because there's so much going on. Anyway, back to uh, analyzing for tonight. I understand people who are listening to it, you know, have the right to fight for the freedom. Yeah, that's Native American willing to bet from one. Uh, there were a couple of Native Americans that were executed uh, on the grounds. Uh, there is a Native American ceremonial area. But like I said, before the prison was constructed, there was a hotel on the uh, on the grounds. Which we've gotten three voices from a small child. But before the hotel or any of that was there? Oh yeah, there was. It was a Native American area. I guarantee it. But could it be the spirits of the Native Americans that were executed there? I think one of them was like Indian Johnny or some crap. I, I'll have to go back through the GoPro because I read the names. I re I'll have. I'm gonna have to go back and reanalyze the names to find out. And use that for the next time I go up there and ask, were you the one trying to communicate with me? That just becomes, it, it never ends because now there's so many spirits communicating. How the spirits imprint an entire area regardless if there's any more. It, yes, that imprint energy. And you've heard me talk about that time and time again. The building the people could be gone. But that energy is imprinted for an eternity on the environment. And it's always going to be there. Whether it's good, whether it's bad, it's there. And to feel that energy is, it's something else. And once you, once you experience that energy, you want to find it again. You don't want to stop. 
And that's what fascinates me with the paranormal is that energy you feel walking into a building when the spirits recognize you as somebody they can communicate with who will understand them. It's just like, ooh, look at this guy. It's like, oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's have some fun with it. Because they know they can trust you. I don't know. There should not be any wind or anything inside of a closed building. Okay. I can't count that as an EVP. As much as I want to, I just can't do it. You know, I'll admit, sitting in the execution chamber alone, knowing nobody else is around, and if I get attacked by a spirit, this is in the back of my mind conducting this investigation. I'm going, they know where I'm at. If they don't hear back from me, they're going to come looking for me. I just hope it's not too late. Trying to show this respect to convicted killers, convicted murderers who were sentenced to death in these rooms, you know, this is where they spent their last... 12 hours of their lives the last you know 8 12 to 24 hours that's why they call them last night cells they may be put in there at you know 8 that morning and the next and 8 the next morning they're being hooked up in the other room it is a hard thing to do and it's like back in your mind these are these are evil people but they're people and try to give them that last or that conversation that somebody else didn't. It is such a, like you said, Des, with that energy, that imprint energy. It, you feel energy shift in these cells. It's like these people are repenting or just let's get it over with. Then you get, and if they're reliving that over and over, that death loop, from where they're led to the cell to the time they're hooked up and and executed. They're reliving that over and over. Then you get a different energy in there that's trying to make that difference that they didn't get. Does that cause a shift in that energy? Does it cause it a shift in the imprint? Are they going to remain evil forever? Or they seriously repent on what they did? Or do the words that the investigators speak to them cause that shift in that energy? To where maybe they trust people again. To maybe where they're, you know what? There are people out there who care. It is an interesting question to raise on investigating areas like this. 
Can you go in there and change the environment? I honestly think you can. Because there's areas I've investigated, then gone in years down the road when people have gone in and investigated in different manners that have caused negative shifts in the energy. Like I'll use the Goldfield, Goldfield Hotel for an example. I'm not going to say names, but the person who ran the investigations and tours out of there allowed people to go in and do seances and use Ouija boards. From the first time I went in there to the most recent, that energy is done a 180 and you walk in there and you know something's off. Something does not feel right. The spirits aren't the same. The energy's not the same. So can you change spiritual intention? Can you change the demeanor of their personalities with just a few kind words? Spending time talking to them like they're a human, not like they're a number, not like they're a statistic. It raises good questions. And that's, what I, that's exactly what I was trying to do on this. I think I made an impact with some of these, uh, some of the EVPs we've gotten. It's like sit back. Uh, when I was a kid, a lot of these people aren't going to tell you their stories. When I was a kid, okay, now you got my attention. What happened? And that would lead me to believe when we got that EVP when I was a kid, that was Carol Cole. Because when he was a kid, his mother used to dress him up as a girl or take him along because she was a prostitute to clients' houses and make him sit in the other room. So that, that statement, when I was a kid, is more relevant than what most people will ever understand unless you do the research on the property, on the people who met their demise in the other room. It just leads you to think, okay, this is, this is good. This is relevant to the investigation and to the inmates who served here. I don't know. Maybe I'm reaching. And what's up, Explicit? Good to see you. And yes, I did say the Lord's Prayer in the execution or in last night's cells. You guys remember this from uh, from the GoPro. I'm kind of interested to see if we actually got some good audio out of this. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And though we pray together, I wish we could work around together. Sit down and have a meal. Sit down and have a meal and share our lives.
is that literally literally saying you're surrounded? Is that saying you're surrounded? I'm in a cell alone. I'm surrounded. Am I surrounded by the spirits who were led into that execution chamber? You got the chills. <laughs> Dead. I was sitting in that cell alone. Like I said, there was nobody else in the building. And I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded by the spirits. Oh my God, dude. Holy shit. That's the EVP of the night right there. You're surrounded. Holy shit. That's not a voice that's made for just grins. That's one that's made to do, meant to do bad. I don't know. My thoughts on this one. You've noticed what I've been saying to these spirits. It's not negative. It's not encouraging, but it's comforting. I'm talking to them like they're people. Something they didn't get throughout their life in prison until they were executed. Maybe... You're surrounded means like I'm bringing everybody in to talk to you. Maybe that's them saying I'm bringing everybody in to to speak with you. You're surrounded by the spirits. I'm not thinking negative on this. I'm thinking that they're bringing everybody in to speak to me. Could be good, could be bad. I'm surrounded by killers. That's given. I'm surrounded by killers. Be a little pessimistic at first, yes, because they've been done. They've lived a rough life. They don't know if somebody's actually trying to be nice or they want something out of it. I've always said I don't care if I get evidence. It's nice to get it, but to gain the spirit's trust first is number one. This is a this statement could go any any way. Ooh. Yeah, so let's get that saved. Got to throw you on mute real quick. I did not expect this one. I did not expect an EVP like this. And I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. This one This one hits a little bit. So Yeah, I deserve a little I deserve a little swig after that one. So, cheers. Just wow. 
There's an EVP in there, right in the dead center, right in the peak, right in here. Right in this area right here, there's a there's an EVP hidden. I don't know if it's saying sit or, or something close. I'm going to play it again a couple more times and see if we can, can, can figure this one out. There's definitely something in here, and it's talking under me. I don't know if there's more to it. It's kind of hard to remove voice over voice. Haven't learned how to do that one yet. It sounds like it's saying it's a sin. It almost sounds like it's a sin. There's only one way to do this one. Because it's hidden. I don't know. What do you guys think? I almost think we have to uh, kind of move on from this one because it's under my voice. We're not going to get the whole EVP from it. We're getting one word. And there's more there. There's definitely definitely more there I hate skipping this in there that's not my voice that is not my voice for one that's too low for two that's not my signature there's no way that's me There's two EVPs here. There's two. Uh, it sounds like we know that and we're all in there is what it sounds like. So let's play it a few times, see if we can uh, isolate it. Okay, the first one, we're going to ignore. We're going to just kind of blow it off. The second one is more defined, and I think this is one we're going to get.
We're all in there. We're all in there. So now here's the, here is the, here's the scary part of this EVP. If that is saying we're all in there, does that mean every person that was executed at Nevada State Prison, their spirit is in there, their energy is in that cell? Now, mind you, there was like 63 or 64 people executed in Nevada State Prison throughout the years. Does that mean when they say we're all in there, there is 60 plus energies in that cell with me? Remember the video. I started getting sick in there and I even said it. I'm not feeling good. My stomach was doing cartwheels in there. I didn't eat much that day, so my stomach should not have been upset. So with them saying we're all in there and my stomach's doing this, does is that my body uh, reacting to all the different energies in that cell? It's very possible. But we're all in there. They're in there with me. That's crazy. Let's save this. All right, I didn't count the last one, so let's go. Let's get our two more up there. 1829. Wow, guys. <laughs> Just wow. So, and that's kind of creepy because the last EVP we got was you're surrounded. Now we're getting, we're all in there. So, is that leading to something other? A little something different? I don't know. I don't even want to guess at this point. This is what I've been waiting for on this. Even though the recorder's in the other room, this is where I started getting sick. the brakes on right there I don't know
So he has to have a city to you stand. As shitty as they are most of the time. As 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 shitty as they are most of the time. Videos as shitty as they are most of the time. Videos who blow up years back. Why is my evening Sims? How you doing tonight? God, got three of my favorite people in here. Got Deads, got Explicit, and got Sims. We got the whole fam family coming in tonight. Oh my God. Okay, here's one. Why is my voice immediately going to a higher echo? You hear where it starts. I'm talking normally. But all of a sudden, my voice shifts into a into an echo like the wall's closing in on me, like I'm talking to a wall. And it's just reverbing around the cell. This literally sounds like I just got hit with something. My voice just shifted. Who's the word he's going to have that air no? Who's the word he's going to have that air no? Who's the word he's going to have that air no? Who's the word he's going to have that air no? Who's the word he's going to have that air no? That's not right. This isn't right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save it as uh, LY4. Night two UNK one oh five. We're not gonna even focus on this one right now because this is I can't explain it. I've I do a lot of audio and just the immediate shift in the echo bothers me. We're gonna move on from it. That's not bad. the fuck? What in the shit? Guys, there's some intelligence here. As I said, you remember the video when I said, I got to cut this short. This spirit is just saying he ha he needs a bathroom to go to. Pay attention to the second part of this. These spirits have a sense of humor. Oh my god. Are you shitting me, literally? I got nothing. I literally got nothing on this one. Uh, Jay, how you doing tonight? He's saying you ain't so bad, dude. <laughs> yeah. He's saying something, but...
Let's enhance this. Oh, don't apologize. Don't apologize. We're getting some weird EVPs tonight. Tonight's like the weird freaking night for EVPs. This is just freaking nuts. I mean, we're getting, going over, we closed the show with 5 EVPs in 3.7 seconds. We figured 4 or 5 out. We've gone on tonight to a long question of mine with an answer of no. I'm over here, you're surrounded, and we're all in here. So we're, we're getting some weird, weird stuff tonight. We haven't had this in a long time to where EVPs even make me cringe a little bit. Let's reverb this. Let's take it down. This one, now listen to it that it's cleaned up. Now that we now that I can clean these up a little bit, let's play this. Okay, what's what does everybody think? Sims, Dead's, Explicit, J. It, but there, it sounds like there's more there. It might be you ain't so bad, dude. It very well might be. It might be you ain't so bad, dude. It, it very well might be because I'm hearing, I'm hearing two different as I'm listening to it. The fact that I was getting sick in there, I mean, literally, I felt like I was going to to yak at any second. Okay, Sims, you and Deads are agreeing on this. Jay, what do you think? It, it might be you ain't so bad, dude. I think you ain't so bad, dude, might be right. You ain't so bad, dude, might be right. Uh, ain't so bad with you, ain't so bad, dude. We're all right on the same page now because the more I'm listening to it,
I think it might be. I think Dead's might be the closest on this one. Ain't so bad with you. Uh, he ain't so bad. I think you guys are all right there. I was hearing something completely different at first until I cleaned it up. Before I cleaned it up, it's like he needs a bathroom to go to. Which, because I was getting sick in there, that's why I thought that. But now that I've cleaned it up and there's literally no interference in it, I can literally amplify it another five. And we're not going to get any distortion. It's so bad. It's so So we're going to call it, we'll just call it, you ain't so bad. We'll call it, you ain't so bad. We'll just title it that because we're all on the same page. And I'm starting to write novels for the type, for the titles of these EVPs. Beat her. Let's, let's see. Let's move on. Let's add it to the, uh, we're at 1830. Let's just move on. Otherwise. I don't know, Dads. I think that might have been me, Deads, because, like I said, my stomach at this point is doing literally like cartwheels while Bruce Lee is doing practice kicks on my stomach. That's what I was feeling like in this cell at this point. I was literally getting ill. So uh, that might be me going like, like that discomfort. <laughs> Anxiety won't even touch it. My energy was full tilt. Literally, I was trying to take in everything and it did not work for me. You can hear it in my voice. You can hear a little, uh, 
I don't want to say hesitation in my voice, but you can definitely hear a different me. Almost like the energies are trying to control what I say. And I think that's why I was getting ill, is those energies were trying to use me as a conduit to communicate. I think they were, I don't want to say possess me, but try to feed me the questions to ask, to, to ask so they could answer. I think they were trying to use my energy to communicate. And there were too many of them were trying to do it at once. Because if you've investigated enough times, you will feel a single spirit use your energy. Because you'll get a little lethargic. Once multiple spirits do it, you get that anxiety. You get that nausea. You get that... I don't want to say dehydrated feel to where it's almost crossed between dehydration and heat stroke. You get that almost that cold feel like you're being drained that almost that cold sweat feeling mixed with that nausea. It's like ugh, I'm, something's not right. A, a, a cross between heat stroke and, and uh, <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a weird thing. People say they got jumped by the spirit when that happens. I've. I've I have not heard saying getting jumped by a spirit. I felt something tried to just try to use my energy. It's when you're an empath and you can go into these areas and you know it's going to happen. And me, you've heard me say, "Please use my energy to communicate." I don't say one of you can use it. I just say, "Please use use my energy." I'm not specific enough to say you know, one of you can use my energy to communicate, figure out which one. No, please feel free to use my energy. Go right ahead. What's the worst that could happen? This. To where literally I had to cut an investigation short and make a beeline for the bathroom. I know that's disgusting to say, but there is no sugarcoating the investigations when the spirits are using you like this. You don't feel like yourself. You feel like you're looking in at yourself. And it is a crazy feeling. Like you're not controlling your questions. They are. So you, you heard me say it. That's me. I got gas. I'm sorry. Announce it on the recorder so you're not trying to analyze a fart later. Because everybody on stream is going to be going, the freak is, oh my God, he did not. Yeah, he actually did. That's why you freaking debunk it right away so people can forget about it and you just get on with the EVPs. Don't worry about the gaseous geysers. Releasing your own inner demons. What the freak? 
Now I'm going to say it, he's bad. I hope they're not talking about me. That is a hell of an EVP. That's not me. That is not my voice. That is a strong EVP. I've always said look for the little flare-ups down here in the bottom. Look for the short little minuscule signals, for the whispers, for the voices. This sounds like something talking right into the digital recorder in the other room. This recorder is 20 feet away from me. Now I'm going to say it. He's bad. I know they're not talking about me. What are you guys saying? And a, a, a voice this strong, and I didn't hear it with my naked ear. I did not hear it with a naked ear. Anything like that, you'd think you would hear. But this just means it was either being picked up from the execution chamber or in the other room. That's a little disturbing. Now I'm going to say it. He's bad. At least that's what I'm hearing. Let's play it a couple more times. Now I'm going to say it. He's bad. 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 I can't think of anything else. I really can't. What are you guys hearing? Please, please, please. Jay, thank you. Uh, Deads, Explicit, Sims, anybody else in chat. Please get your two cents on this one before I move on. <laughs> I want to get at least one more opinion on this because I feel like I'm being judged by the spirits. I've got I hate to say it's bad. Now I'm say it's bad. Now I'm say it's bad. Now I'm say it's bad. Let's slow it down. Let's take it to the next step before we move on. Let's slow down the pitch. say it's bad. Now I'll say it's bad. We're right in the same neighborhood. That does say it's bad. Now I'll say it's bad. Now I'll say it's bad. But what's bad? What's the spirit talking about? Now I'll say it's bad.
So now I'm going to say it's bad. Or now I'll say it's bad. Right in there. We can agree on that. Let's go back to here and go up to here. Let's, let's, re, let's go back to my previous statement and see if it fits. And It might be how I'm feeling. It very well could be. You know, you could have spirits in there that are, I don't want to say protecting me, but looking at looking after me. There might be other spirits in there trying to do harm to me. And the spirits are like going, you know, leave this guy alone. He's good. It, It's acknowledging how you're feeling then. Very well could be. You could have spirits in there trying to fuck with me. And other spirits in there are trying to protect me. And the worse I get, they're saying, now I'm going to say it's bad. Which leads to how I'm feeling. I was terrible in here. I was, I've not felt like this on an investigation in probably 10 years. If not over 10 years. I think it's been over that. It's been, let's see, I've been in it 14, so 10, 10 to 12 years. Let's say that. When I literally started throwing up on an investigation, I almost felt that bad. But I was able to control it a little bit to the best I could. And Okay, that's me. Okay, there's an EVP, but then you hear me saying I'm starting to get sick. This in here is me. I'm starting to get sick, but this area right here is an EVP, but I cut it off. I literally cut off the EVP. Not intentionally, of course, but... So yeah. I don't know if we can count that as an EVP. Not clear enough. So out of that, just that section, just that section, we got, let me see if we can find this here. Just out of that section, this power section in the center, we got 20 EVPs, 20 inside of a few minutes. Let's figure this out real quick. Where are we at? So from one hour, 40 minutes to, wow. Two hours, 18 minutes. So that's what? And 38 minutes of audio. 
38 minutes of audio, we got 20 EVPs. <laughs> that is actually insane. And five of them were in 3.7 seconds. Ooh, yeah, I'm happy. So now do they talk when I'm gone? I swear to God, if we get an EVP that says, I hope he's okay, I'm literally going to lose my shit. Not physically, of course. Metaphorically, yes. Psychologically, I'll lose my shit. Uh, is this EVP saying, please be nice? You hear me say, I'm leaving because I'm getting sick. I'll be back later, I promise. It's a mess. Let's do some vocal enhancing here and find out. I can't believe this program's cleaning it up this nice now. This is, this is getting good. We're getting better at this program. We can clean up these EVPs right nice, can't we? Yeah, please be nice. It is dead spot on, buddy. It, I think I've got a couple in there. The fact that I've gone in there and talked to them like they're human beings. And you've heard me say, I'm not talking to you as convicts, as criminals. I'm talking to you as men and women because that's what you are. You heard me go in there and I said the Lord's Prayer with them. I showed them that respect. And granted, sometimes you just can't take the evil out of people. You can't take the evil out of some people. You are in life as you are on death. Some of them may have seriously repented on their deathbed. And been very sorry for what they did because at heart they were very good people put in fucked up situations. Like, uh, 
I don't want to use that one as an example because that's the worst you can do. Uh, and yeah, they just they they see that energy and they're like, he's not going to judge us. He's he's going to sit down. He's gonna he's gonna listen. And some of these EVPs tonight have seriously proved it. And it's hard to be able to go back and just because I started getting ill, hold that against them. Be like, guys, you can't do this to me again. I came in as a man to speak to you. You can't use your energy to make me ill like that. I want to hear your stories, but you got to do it right. Sit down and talk to me. I'm going to listen. I'm going to hear it. And so are other people. I have friends who will hear your story. We're not going to judge you for it. And see what they say. You know, it's you get a whole lot, a whole lot further with honey than you do vinegar. There, there. Next time I go back, is I go back for this third investigation. It is going to be insane. We haven't even touched the pods yet. When we get to the recorders for these pods that I've never been into, where the worst of the worst were kept, I'm anticipating some FUs some get outs, some jerks and some assholes. I'm in, I'm anticipating putting at least 20 on the insult meter. But in the execution chamber, we're going to have fun. I anticipate not just the eddy meter going off. I don't want to say I'm guaranteeing it, but I give a high probability of a full body apparition on camera. I'm going to gain that much trust from them. We're going to see what happens. Just mark my words on this, guys. We're going to get a full body apparition next time. By having the courage to do it, yes, Dads, 100%. You know, and as I've said this before, how many of these shows have you guys watched where they go in and they antagonize the spirits? They're not very respectful to them. They go in, they poke, they prod, they provoke, they antagonize to try to get evidence. How many teams have you heard of doing this? They just go in, hey, you're a convicted killer. What the, you know, what did you do? You're a piece of crap. And you got to show me that you're here. No, 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 no. <laughs> you know, what led you to this? I'm going to offer my hand in friendship. You've seen me do it on camera. I offer my hand. Come shake my hand. We're men here. Like I said, you get a lot further with that respect as a human being. So...
we're back to the quiet time. God, that was interesting, wasn't it? Ooh. A lot of great EVPs tonight. And we wouldn't have a stream without the motorcycle, would we? Freaking crotch rockets. You're going to die. I know this is probably nothing. I don't know if this is part of the team down the hallway. There are definite voices here, but it's so faint and so distant. You almost have to just throw the debunked up there and call it other team members. Because after I left, I know they came back in. Once I left the building, it's like, guys, I'm done. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta get my head clear and the rest of my system clear <laughs> so to speak but yeah there's that's probably part of the team
I honestly just can't wait to go through the uh, the H3 VR freaking audio. Because that was l literally sitting at my feet. So if we got if we got the EVPs from this, 99% chance they're going to be on the other one. But the questions are going to be a lot clearer. But we're not going to jump straight to that. We're going to save that for the last. I do have to say, it's probably been, what, at least six months since we've had a night like this for EVPs. We didn't have this for the Nye County Courthouse. We didn't have this for the Railroad Museum. Uh, God, I can't remember the last. I think we got this for the last time we had this many EVPs was for Red Garter in Williams, Arizona. And we ended up getting like 10 within like 20 minutes. But they were not to this intelligence. I mean, I'm just going to go back over them real quick. Uh, I'm over here. You're surrounded. We're all in there. Uh, we figured you ain't so bad or something along those lines. Uh, now I'm going to say it's bad. And please be nice. That shows a lot of intelligence. That shows almost a level of consciousness. And to, sh to show consciousness among spirits raises the question, what is there after death? Even if you're executed at that point of death, does consciousness remain? It has to. With statements like this, Statements like the ones we've got over the past two nights raises more questions than I ever thought. And like I said, coming up, this is my will be my 14th year come like August. I have not seen EVPs like this. It makes me question the paranormal even more. And you guys have been here long enough. You've seen me talk about it. And for me to make a statement like that is pretty bold. It's pretty damn bold to say something along those lines. But it makes me want to learn more about consciousness. Being a conscious entity, a physical, being a physical conscious entity myself. What about that spiritual conscious entity? It's not ESP, it's not, it's not a subconscious manifestation because I don't know a lot about the people who were executed in Nevada State Prison. I know Carol Cole and I know David Blackwell because of uh, Destination Fear, but I did not learn about that until after my second investigation with uh, David Blackwell. So really the only one I knew was Carol Cole. We got several different voices on this which shows several different several different prisoners are coming forward now like I said my third investigation we're going to we're going to break the mold you're going to see me go into a whole another level of investigating I'm going to try some new things I think I'm going to try channeling spirits on the next investigation I know how dangerous that is. I know channeling can be very dangerous. But there's going to be a camera on me and there will be somebody there to watch over me. I'm not going to go in balls out and do this alone. 
I am not going to channel by myself. That not That's not crazy. That's just a whole nother level of stupid. You're in there amongst energy of convicted killers. Some that aren't going to change. And if you channel that, are you risking a possible temporary possession or something along those lines? It raises questions. Dangerous questions. I think I want to have Susan in there when I do it, since she's pretty much the caretaker and the key holder of the prison. Have her watch over me since she's familiar with the spirits. But I think I'm going to try the channeling to see what I can do for you guys. See what evidence I can bring out. Because I'm not going to study up on the killers there. I'm not going to study up on any more of their names. I'm going to use the evidence. I'm going to use that to channel. And see if we can get some names. See if we can get some more stories. We're going to have fun with it, guys. Tonight has been one of the better nights I've had doing this stream. Not only for the participation, but for the EVPs. You guys have been absolutely amazing tonight. And just the EVPs we've got together tonight have helped define the stream. This is a lot of what I want to do. And when Explicit was here the other night talking about about remaining energies it this is like I said this is only the beginning we're 181 shows in we're approaching 200 and it's only the start the sky's the limit for us now guys with what we're getting tonight and what we're discussing there's no boundaries right now the only limit is what I'm what I'm not going to do and there's not much that I'm not going to do for the stream or as an investigator. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, allergies. Uh, but as I said, there's not much I'm not going to attempt on stream for you. And not only that, for people to understand why we do what we do. We're taking this to limits nobody else is going to do, and I guarantee that. But we're going to do it together. We're going to do it as a family. We're going to do it as a community. I truly thank you guys for tuning in and spending two hours of your life analyzing the paranormal and just being together as a paranormal family. I wouldn't have it any other way. You guys have been great. I truly thank you from the bottom of my heart. You guys are friends. You guys are family. And I wouldn't trade it for anything. You guys have a great night. And I'll see you tomorrow. Y'all take care. Bye now. <laughs>